Shalom, shalom everyone. Welcome to Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil. I am the man God is using to bless us. Welcome. If you're seeing this face for your very first time, my name is Basil. I'm the man God is using to bless us. Hallelujah. If you have not yet been part of this family, oh my God, you're left behind. On this YouTube channel, we receive the word of God. Every day we are praying. Hallelujah. The Bible says men ought always to pray. There are people that has decided to stand the gap to intercede. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm one of those people that have decided to stand the gap for the for, to, to intercede. Please become part of my family members, my brother, my, my friend, my prayer partner, as you're subscribing. So whenever I'm live, you'll be notified together. Let us pray. If there is a man or a woman to pray, there is a God to answer. This particular prophetic word and prayer this morning is this is about the money one person from your family hallelujah this is about the money one person from your family is sitting on praise master jesus this is a prophetic world and prayers this is actually what the lord showed me i saw you i saw a family and i saw somebody sitting on your money hallelujah i saw somebody sitting on your money and this particular person sitting on your money is not sitting with good intention. The Bible says, Jesus was speaking the parable in the Bible saying, the kingdom of God is like a man who was about to travel in a far country. To some he gave five, to some he gave two, and to some he gave one. The man of five um, multiply, yes. The man of two multiply, the man of one bury, so one. The man of one was a very wicked person. The man of one was that type of people that they don't want to walk. They don't want to be creative. They only want to, 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 to sit at one place, criticize others and judge others. That is the reason why the man of one could not multiply his talent. Because he was complaining, how can God give me one and give A, B, five and give B? Uh, 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 two. So even if they could give him the two, he will not still multiply because he will still complain. So there are people that are naturally lazy and their purpose here on earth are just for destruction. So this is actually what I saw. I'm bringing this story so that a lot of people might get to uh, the prophetic word and prayer in a very good way. Praise Master Jesus. It should not be that I'm just talking, focusing. Praise Master Jesus. I'm not here to call names, but I'm here to let us know. And this is actually what is happening to this person right now. The person sitting on your money, hear me, I saw this person sitting on, on your money with bad intention. This person went and buried the money. This person buried money somewhere, call your name. And this person say, as long as this money is buried, as long as he, he, he is sitting on your money, you will look for money for the rest of your life. Money will never rest on your hands. And this person make this for bad. But you are a very good person. I'm seeing you struggling. I'm seeing you working hard. I'm seeing you taking care of a lot of people. I'm seeing a lot of people looking back home on you. Whenever you receive your salary, the first thing you will distribute it to them one after another just because of your good heart. You're sharing it to each and everyone in the family that let them be able to eat or drink something because of your good heart. But at time, as you're doing it, a lot of people think that you are enjoying. And this particular prophetic word is going to somebody you are not in your hometown. You're traveling. You might be watching me right now. You're saying, yes, pastor, I'm out. I'm in one of the, uh, the nation outside country. I am hustling. I'm taking care of my family. Life has not been going on well with me. Before you receive your salary, problem, before you receive a salary of $1,000, you have problem of $2,000. That is how like, your life has always been. You have been in the same position for, for quite a long time, yet you have nothing to show. Yet you have nothing to show. Life has dealt with you. Life has toyed with you mercilessly. That is actually what you are going through. So the Lord says the reason why money uh, has been running away from you is because somebody buried your money. Hallelujah. And the person made a declaration that money will never stay on your hands. When, when the master came, the master asked for the talent. The man of five said, I multiply. The man of two said, I multiply. The man of one said, I bury. That man of one was a greedy person. The master has to take it back from them. So there are people that they don't even want our giving. 
Praise Master Jesus. There are people that you can give them something, they are going to use it against you. So they are greedy people. They only pass their time insulting you, calling you names. They think that life abroad is easy. It's not easy, people of God. I know you are watching me right now. You're saying, yes, pastor, life is not easy abroad. I know it is not easy. You don't even have time for yourself. You don't even have time to pray. You don't even have time to, to, to eat good food because you are working every day, 24-7, so that to ensure that you hit your goal and target. But yet, people are tying your destiny back home. God revealed to redeem. Hallelujah. The man of one was a greedy person that buried the talent. God has sent me to speak a word upon your life in the name of Jesus, that anywhere your money was buried, it will be uprooted. The Lord has sent me to speak a word upon your life, that anywhere your money was buried, it is uprooted in the name of Jesus. I want to speak one word. If you are watching me at the end of this particular prophetic word, I want you to type it at the comment section. I will do just that. I will do just that. I will do just that. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. I will do just that. Hear me, wheresoever you are watching me, hear me. The man of one buried, that is a greedy person. I want you, wheresoever you are watching me in any nation, as you end this particular prophetic word, from now to 24 hours, as this word is still, is still boiling on your mind, take any currency of the nation of that land of which you are, Carry the soil, carry the soil, place it on that currency, place it on the money. I don't care to know the currency, put the soil on that money, cover it on your hands. Hallelujah, the currency and the soil. I want you to speak to that money and the soil. Say, oh, you money, hear my voice. Oh, you money, hear my voice. Any way my money was buried, let it be uprooted. Anyone that sat on my money, let my money be released. Let this soil swallow that person. Let this soil swallow that person. Hear me, people of God. As you make this particular declaration, hear me, your financial life will never remain the same. Your money is released in the mighty name of Jesus. Your money is released in the name of Jesus. And I want to say God bless each and everyone. I've been seeing a lot of people whenever they come across a, a, a prophetic word, the Lord has been doing great things in their life. They will send me a message. They will say, well, pastor, I did exa exactly what you said. And this is what happened. The Lord has been so faithful. And a lot of people has been, con uh, 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 has been connecting with their seat through PayPal account, which is on this platform. God bless you. A lot of people has been connecting through uh, Super Titans, through a lot of method of YouTube, God bless you all family in the name of Jesus. And if this word was a blessing to you and you also say, man of God, wow, since I came across this YouTube channel, my life has changed. This word and this prayer has, has turned my story around. And you also want to raise an altar, feel free to raise an altar. When people hear men of God talking about money, a lot of people will say they are scam. But hear me, if Elijah was now our days, people will call him, him scammer. They will even kill him. How can you collect the only flood the widow had to eat? The only food the widow had to eat and die, but you collected it. The reason why the man of God wanted to see the heart of this woman, God just wants to see what you will do. God bless you. For in Jesus' name, I'm waiting for your comment of testimony. I'm waiting to see your altar that you're raising. God bless you, family, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.